Hey everyone, I hope you're well. I've just been knitting the number uh, sweater number 18 by My Favourite Things. I've done the body, I've just completed or almost completed the collar, which is a knit one pearl one ribbing, and it's a folded collar. So you knit it up and then you fold it, and the last row that you've got on your needles, you combine with the um, cast on edge from when you started, and then you bind them off. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So, wait until I finish this one. I've got the last row on my needle, as you can see, as per normal. And then I folded it over so that we've got, you can see there, now that it's on camera, the uh, cast on edge. And you want to make sure it's not twisted. That's, I think, the biggest thing you want to look out for when you're doing this. So, my next stitch on my needle is a pearl. So, that's going to look like a knit on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my needle through just as if to knit like normal. I'm going to find the corresponding part of the V that lines up with it. So again, you can see that that's straight. So I've got the V there on top of that knit row. You can even see the last stitch that I've used. Pop the needle through there as if to knit. So you've got both of the stitches on your needle. Go around to knit. Sometimes I, because it's tight, I grab and pull that through like that. Pull it through both stitches kind of like a knit two together and then you get to the bind off part where you just pop your needle in the stitch before and bind it, bind it off just as your regular bind off technique. I'm just going to do another one and um, then I'll change view. So we're on top of a pell column there because we're going into a knit stitch. Going around, pulling that through that cast on edge stitch and then pulling it through the last row that we've just knitted. And then binding off. I just want to show you a bit of a clearer view. So I'm just going to bind off this one and I'll show you what I've done so far. So you can see there that we've folded a fair chunk of that collar and you can see what that looks like. I love a folded collar. So we're going in through the stitch as if to knit, find the corresponding cast on edge stitch where that's that lines up with we're going through the v part of the v there doing the knit knit action so i kind of split that yarn let me just do that again just making sure it's lined up once you get going there's no really question if you're not because you just do the next stitch so we're going to pull that through there pull it through the second stitch and then bind off over the top and really loosen that yarn because it's going over our heads. Um, so yeah, the two biggest mistakes I think you can make is not having the stitches lined up so it's a bit twisted and too tight that you can't pull the jumper over your head. But yeah, the folded collar looks amazing. I love it um, much better than just the single, unless the pattern really does call for it. Because it's nice to do different things as well when you're knitting. But yeah, any questions, uh, drop me a line. And here's the end product when I've done the collar. Oh, I haven't weaved in the ends, but um, yeah, it's all bound off. And there it is.